Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and it is back the random pick. You guys have been bugging me so much in the comments section to re to bring this back out again. So I'm going to deliver for you guys today and bring you an expensive episode of this. First off, if you guys are looking to buy some coins, then be sure to check out the link below for UT Coin Traders as always in the description guys. Uh, right. Yeah, you guys wanted it, so we brought it back, and today we're going to have some search parameters. We're obviously going to go with gold players this week, uh, and we're going to go with a minimum of 250,000 coins. So as you can see here, uh, there's a lot of blue, a lot of orange, and informed stuff, and we actually get a page number 6. So as I work my way through, I see 91 Royce, I see a 91 Ribery, I see a 92 Ronaldo, and that is obviously who we need to pick because he is the highest rated player on this page. Uh, so, not a bad one to start us off, we actually get a Ronaldo. Um, so that's him, moving on to the second pick. This it gets better, trust me. We go on, I think it's page number 14 that we actually end up randomly generating, and on this page, we get a choice of two. There are two 94 rated players on this page. One is Ribery and one is Ibrahimovic. And because we've just got Ronaldo, uh, that's our left wing spot pretty much taken up. So, and I love Ibra. So we decided to go with him, which is really, really sick. We get to put those two players into one squad. So what we do is we just go in here and build our uh, squad, enter a new, a new name for a new squad and create one. Uh, we obviously call it the random pick. And then we change our formation after I've had a little go on foothead. I decide to go with a 4-3-3. So, about time we went out into the market and picked ourselves up a Ronaldo. As you can see, I've put my search parameters in, in there after having a little look. And... Um, there's about a couple of pages of them on the on this sort of price range, and at the time, 950k was a good uh, good price. And this was actually before the BBVA tots come out. Like I did this it quite in advance, uh, so I'm not quite sure where Ronaldo's price is right now. I saw the other day he was about 900k, but since his tots has come out, I have no idea whether he's gone up, down, or what. So we pick one up there for 950k, and luckily for me, I know not a lot of people can say this, but I already had a Tots Ebert in my club, so we don't need to go out and buy him. Uh, that was quite lucky, uh, which, because basically I bought him when the French League Tots came out, and I'm not selling him. He is awesome. He's my favourite card on this game. I'm not getting rid of him. Uh, I decided to, to turn this squad into a Real Madrid and PSG mix. Uh, and we have gone with five PSG, no, five Real Madrid players and six uh, PSG guys. So in goal to start things off, we have gone with Diego Alves. I I saw no need to go for um, Casillas. I don't like him as much on this game. Uh, I like Diego Lopez more. I know he's a bit cheaper and he's sort sort of a nothing keeper, but I prefer him. Then we've got Van der Weel and Cohen Trau. Nice cheap left backs there, but they do a fantastic job. Um, uh, pushing up and stuff and dictating the plane nice passing move and we've got one of the best central partnerships at center backs in the game that I've used to date and that is Pepe and team of the season Sacco what a great little partnership these two are they really really work well nice and pacey nice and tall nice and strong uh, and they just cover a lot of ground they do a lot of hard work and uh, it saves me a lot of goals Right, our outside central midfielders, uh, we've gone with Lucas and we've gone with Modric. So, uh, pe technically what we've gone for here is a bit of four-star skillage. Uh, Lucas being more of an attacking player, got great dribbling on him. And then Modric also with fantastic dribbling, but a bit more technically gifted in the, like, the passing area and stuff. And we're hoping that he'll create a few goals and set some stuff up like that. So those are the outside mids. And then we've got a really great holding mid here in Matuidi. Uh, I recently found out he was left footed, uh, so that actually really helped me out. I thought he was a great defensive mid before, but then uh, once I found out he had a left foot, not a right foot, his shot turns out to be pretty good as well. Then we've got right wing Jeremy Menez, uh, because Ibra needs another link there, and obviously the good right winger for PSG is Jeremy Menez's normal card. Really solid actually, like I've used his tots now, uh, and he's a good player. Then we have Ronaldo, 92 pace, 90 shooting, 80 passing, 92 dribbling and 87 heading. You can't really get better stats than that, uh, apart from his like informs and whatnot, but it doesn't make a difference. He's already got the stats on him. He's already tall, strong, quick, skillful. He's got five-star skill moves and a four-star weak foot, and he's just a god. Um, 
And then this guy, Ebra. <laughs> Bit of a monster. 6'5", 83 pace, 96 shooting, 86 passing, 92 dribbling, and 85 heading. Just a monster. A real monstrous team. I'll put the... Uh, the link of how much the squad actually cost on your screen right about now so that you guys can see that but it's something I've wanted to do for ages is to get these two in a squad and I've just never got round to doing it so for this to happen you know on the random pick is just awesome um, obviously I could have gone with like Ribery and, and Ronaldo and then we would have had to go like a 3-4-3 or something so to get our nice two five star skillers nice and expensive as well is just awesome so let's have a little look at what they did uh, so the goals here from Ronaldo he is something else I know he's a regular card but he is he is quite possibly the best player in this game he just he's just awesome um, I was playing Sam FIFA Raw who was a really really good FIFA player he was testing me to my limits um, and I had I sometimes could not get past his Thiago Silva and Dante combo, but sometimes Ronaldo just made it look easy. Uh, like right here, he just he McGeady spins past, gets some space, and then thumps it off the bar. What a goal that is! Uh, and the thing we noticed is when he does like a McGeady spin. Uh, the turn of pace afterwards is just insane. Like, he pulls away from the defenders like no other. It's just ridiculous. Uh, and he's always got a solid finish on his card. It's just insane. Uh, some great goals there. And just a really, really good player. Right, and then obviously I've just I've messed up the editing. But you saw a replay of that goal right there. Not bad at all. Right, Ibra. Time for his goals. And he's, again, another monster on this game. His turn of pace is ridiculous as well. Um, his, his, I would say it's his sprint speed more than his acceleration because sometimes he can feel a little sluggish off the mark because he's such a big guy. But his sprint speed is now very impressive, and he doesn't he doesn't hesitate. He just he gets in position and powers it past the keeper. He's just a monster. Great skill moves as well. Very 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 strong. Like you're not going to knock him off the ball. I don't care who you are. Um, Give him a bit of space like that and it's in the back of the net. You cannot pull a, pull back from the defenders expecting him to play the ball through. Right there he makes the keeper look ridiculously stupid with a skill move. Uh, and he's just a beast. I've thoroughly enjoyed this team. This is one of my favourites as well. Nice ball in there from Menes. And acrobatics into the back of the net is just fantastic. So that is the squad. As you can see, we'll just run through it again and let you know how I enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, in goal, we played with our Diego Lopez. And I must say, this time around, he wasn't that brilliant. He did leak a fair few goals. Uh, I didn't often keep a clean sheet. Uh, and then we had Van der Wiel and Kerntrau, who did a fantastic job. Although they're a little bit too attacking, uh, they, they supported our attack very, very well. Uh, we felt like this team was incredibly dangerous going forward. Uh, and then it had these two guys to really help out at the back. Sacco and Pepe. As I mentioned earlier, they are one of my new real favourite uh, defensive partnerships. I'm looking to try and get uh, one or two, or, you know, one or both of them into another squad already. That would be quite cool. Uh, then Modric and Lucas. What can I say? Modric was far better than Lucas. Lucas did nothing for me. Um, Modric was a still a little bit bad, but... He played in some lovely balls and set up some goals and stuff. So I can't complain too much there. That is what he was there to do. I wasn't expecting to score loads of 30-yard long shots with him. Um, so that is them too. Then Matuidi, I was over the moon with. This guy is ridiculous. Uh, he's You just don't get that much better than him. He's a, such a fantastic holding mid. He does everything perfectly. And uh, I will look to use him again for sure. It's lovely to get a solid 9 chem link there with Sacco as well. Then um, Menez did a great job as always. He's a solid little player actually on the right wing for under a thousand coins as well. Which is just ridiculous. Alright, Cristiano Ronaldo. As you can see, his pros. I feel that he's very, very strong on the ball. Tight dribbling is insane. Uh, he's also got a fucking ridiculous shot on him. He'll score from anywhere. Five-star skill moves just tops him off. And then that four-star weak fit is very, very strong. Get him in a good spot, and he's going to absolutely nail that even on his left foot. Uh, his cons, his run style sometimes actually makes it seem like he runs a bit slower because he's got that stupid weird run. Uh, and obviously, he's very expensive. But overall, we do give him a 10 out of 10. No doubt about it on this game. Then Zlatan, 
He is really, really strong. I should put a, I should have put another really in there. His agility on the ball, once he gets going, is ridiculous. He's got, again, a crazy shot. It's going to go in from anywhere. His five-star skill moves also top him off as well. Uh, and his heading ability, something which I didn't feel Ronaldo had, even though he had the better heading ability. Um, Ibra is just a don because he's six foot five, and just it really helps out there. Uh, so he definitely gets... Uh, a 10 out of 10 from me as well. Uh, the only downsides for Ebra, his sprint speed um, is more like the acceleration. He's got a big nose and his price is unreal. Uh, but that is the squad. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, this was ridiculously fun to play with. I enjoyed it so much. I love these two players. I uh, can't wait to try and maybe get them in another squad with some other cool players around them. Maybe with Gareth Bale or something in there. As you can see, squad costs 4.4 million. Mostly taken up by those two big players in the top left corner and in the central. So I hope you've enjoyed. I would love to hit 2,000 likes for the return of the random pick. And I'll catch you again soon, guys. Peace.